Coming up on Mountain News this morning, there were tornadoes across the United States throughout the weekend and some hit the Commonwealth. And the Hazard Perry County Women's Club used its decorative houses to raise money for children in need. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Olivia Calfee. We're coming up on 6 a.m. on Monday, December 11th. Now let's check in with First Alert Meteorologist Jane Smith for a look at your forecast this morning. And Shane, a chilly start to the morning. Folks definitely don't want to forget a coat as they head out the door this morning. That's absolutely right, Olivia. We are seeing very chilly conditions across the mountains on this Monday. Also seeing a few flakes of snow trying to show up on Pinpoint Doppler, especially in the higher elevations. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And you can see, especially down into the higher elevations of Harlan County uh, over towards Black Mountain, one or two flakes uh, potentially flying out there. But for most of us, it is nice and dry as we speak. Let's go ahead and take a look across the area using our weather cam network. 27 right now on Pine Mountain on the uh, US 119. Not seeing any flakes there as we speak. Jenkins just down the road. Dry for you as well. Mostly cloudy, very chilly out there. There may be a few slick spots, especially on some of those back roads and some of those more shady locations. Uh, 32, your current air temperature, London, Williamsburg, Hazard, 34, Manchester, Harlan, Jonesville. And good morning, Wise, you're at 28. But when you factor in the wind, it is feeling even cooler than that. Most spots into the 20s this morning. As you head out the door, we're only warming into the 40s, but it's going to feel like to the 30s thanks to that northwest wind. Starting off mostly cloudy. Sky should begin to clear out a little bit by the afternoon, but the forecast looking dry overall for the next several days. We'll talk more about that here in a few minutes, Olivia. Shane, thank you. Portions of the Commonwealth were damaged in the storms and tornadoes on Saturday. The National Weather Service confirmed that a tornado touched down both in Warren and Logan counties in the western part of the state. Officials say that the tornado that touched down in Logan County reached wind speeds of approximately 90 miles per hour. We had homes with roofs ripped off, barns ripped off, power lines down, impalement of two by fours into the ground. What a mess in Logan County. The tornado that came out of Tennessee went into Todd County and Logan County. We have an EF2, 115 miles per hour. Really bad south of Russellville. Lick Skillet got a, a really bad tornado. I'm amazed no one got injured or worse. Officials hope that the damage seen in these areas can be taken as a warning to always stay weather aware during tornado watches and to take over during tornado warnings. Sunday, first responders in Pikeville gathered at the Walmart to host their Cops and Kids event, giving kids across the county $70 vouchers to make the Christmas season a little easier on families. WYMT's RJ Johnson has more. The Fraternal Order of Police lodged 29 in Pikeville as helping students at all 16 elementary schools in the county enjoy Christmas. So they can go and pick uh, whatever they want, clothes, toys, whatever, and we do that every year to try to help the kids for Christmas. Secretary Cammie Dotson says they want to help give back to the community. We have a lot of underprivileged children, and we really like to give back to the community all that we can do and help with the kids, and it, it just really helps make the children feel better and makes us feel better by able to help the children. Because that's what Christmas is all about. It's Christmas, and Christmas is really about Jesus and the kids, and we really just want to help them all that we, that we can. Phil Bowersock, what the Fraternal Order of Police says, it makes the families better enjoy the holiday season. You know, it it's makes it a little easier for the family. You know, like you said, they have, they have a tight budget. They don't have, a lot of them don't have very little income coming in. And uh, we try to help the kids and the kids and the family. And the kids come in, they see Santa Claus, and they get set on his lap, you know, and tell them what he want, they want for Christmas. He says they even met with some children to pick them up. We went up to the homeless shelter and picked up nine kids and brought them down here with their parents and let them shop, then took them back to the homeless shelter. And, you know, that right there made my day. A day of helping more than 200 kids enjoy their Christmas. If, if it's one kid, it's worth it, you know, and... Uh, 200 kids or more, that's fantastic, you know. In Pikeville, R.J. Johnson, WYMT Mountain News. 
Bowersock says this would not be possible without those that helped donate throughout the year. The Jewish community of Louisville joined city organizations to bring light in the darkness. Chabad of Kentucky lit a giant menorah on 4th Street live on the third night of Hanukkah. Chabad's social service arm Project Friendship worked with the city's Office of Safe and Healthy Neighborhoods to give out hundreds of gifts to kids who have been victims of gun violence. A local rabbi talked about how important it is to help others and stay positive to get through hard times. It's helping people in need. Whether you know them or not, whether they're not in our city, they're across the state, it doesn't matter. Reach out, help your neighbor, help your friends, help people you know, you don't know, it doesn't matter. Add light, add good deeds, and that's how we win. Project Friendship distributes millions of dollars in donations to the needy across Kentucky every year. Hanukkah runs through next Friday. Many families use the holiday season to decorate their house in a festive way. The Hazard Perry County Women's Club showed off their festive designs to raise money for those in need. Monica Collier, a member of the club, says the main purpose is to serve the community with money raised from the event, going towards scholarships for young women around the area. Just knowing that all the people that are coming through, the more people that come through, the more help is given to the children. And it's really exciting to show off all the rooms. You know, a lot of the, the younger people like the younger girls' rooms, and the men love the man cave, and the views are gorgeous, and there's all kinds of parking and giant windows to look out of. Collier says the tour of houses has been going on for over 20 years. This year, four houses were offered on tour, two in the Meadows and two in Hazard. 24 middle and high school teams across West Virginia and Eastern Kentucky went head to head in some high flying fun. A robotics and drone competition at the Huntington Tri-State Airport Sunday. Students relied on teamwork to carefully pilot their drones through obstacles while competing in a series of tasks. Teams had the chance to advance to the Northeast Aerial Drone Championships. My entire team, like we've known each other for like the last like three or four years, so like we already knew how to work with each other. It's mainly just like getting used to the field and like making sure that like we know everybody's like weaknesses and strengths. The championships will be in May 2024. And it is 6.07, time for another check of your forecast. Let's take a look at what's going on outside this morning. Outside the WYMT studio, mostly cloudy, 32 degrees right now. And then we head on over to Pikeville, taking a look at the Pikeville Medical Center camera. You can see 31 degrees there, mostly cloudy as well. Somerset 34 as we speak, cloudy down into the Lake Cumberland region. And the Christmas tree looking oh so pretty this morning. And definitely feeling like wintertime out there. Pine Mountain, we've been checking the cam this morning to see if we have any flakes flying in the higher elevations. Not right now, but it is oh so cold. 27 degrees most of us into the 30s and 20s as we speak when you factor in the wind it's feeling even cooler than that feeling like the mid 20s and highs today only topping out into the low 40s under mostly cloudy skies and the forecast going to be dry for the next several days we'll take a closer look at that coming up here in just a few minutes thank you shane and thanks for joining mountain news this morning more news is on the way when we return, Israel warns Hamas militants to surrender as hope is near lost for negotiations on a ceasefire.